Welcome to the Automation Car Design Competition. Over 450 entries, 11 categories and Mr. Regular as a guest judge in his very own special category. The entries will be judged in two rounds, the preliminaries and the finals for each category. The categories span from way back 40s luxury barges all the way to futuristic concept cars. The preliminaries are judged on a scale from 0 to 10 by three judges. At least three finalists will be selected based on this score at the end of each category's preliminary round. Today we shall find out who's going into the finals of the 2025 Premium Concept Car category. Our first competitor is C Doolittle 18. All right, yeah, the stats are decent-ish. Um, this is in a very modern category. I think the the uh, AI currently is building some decent cars in that too. So um, let's keep that in mind. We have some decent stats going in here. Um, pretty well rounded. What does the car look like? Oh yeah, we definitely have progressed looks, into the looks, modern era. Yeah, in yeah. The futuristic era. It feels a bit like cobalt from the rear too. A bit dated even. Yeah, the rear, yes. It looks yeah. a bit dated. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look 2025 uh, yeah. concept it car, more really. like 2005. Yes, I was going to say. 2005 concept. Mm, that's right. All right, so what do we think? Mm, between four and five. Yeah. Solid, but... Yeah, I, I think it's a... I think it's five stats are decent. It's solid five. Yeah, let's put it at five. Next up is DMUM. Okay, yeah, some really high stats going into this one. Indeed. Very quite comfortable nice. car. Yeah, and also very drivable and quite very, very sporty drivable. for that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stats and even scoring pretty well in the target premium demographic already. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look mm -hmm. at the design. Ah. Okay, mm. a little bit like retro looks, 80s concept, more yeah, or less. Yeah, it, it looks like a throwback car, like retro design. Yeah. yeah, the front reminds me the BMW concept of the early 90s. Right. I remember they had run out some kind of... True. ...that front. But it's the interesting. Just, yeah. It's the rear is not quite as appealing as... No, the, the rear looks kind of empty for the most part. Hmm. It does Again, carry the, over the some of the, the design stuff from the front, but what do we think mm -hmm. of all? It's not far away from the other one, so I it's guess it's solid fire. Entry, but nothing, nothing more. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I, I would have aimed a little higher because of all the stats as well. I would have said a six, but if you think it's a five, both of you, then it's a five. It's not very futuristic, not the front. It's, mm, it's a five, yes. Okay, let's settle with five. Next up is Duke Fireframe. Oh, well, the stats aren't that high. Um, mm. A little bit on the poor mm. side overall. Mm. It's a good mix of yeah. stats. Super, <laughs> super safe. But other than that, yeah, not, not really convinced. It's a convinced mixed bag of stats, really. Yeah, it is. Okay, what about the design itself? Also kind uh, of a throwback. Uh, oh, it's, no, a no. it's a candy I car. I like the paint. Yeah. Um, doesn't really work for me for the front. No. It does no, have front, something not. futuristic, but it doesn't look like 2025 futuristic. Um, was more something no. something uh, someone thought up in the 80s as a concept for for the future. Yeah, more around that. Like, mm, let's make no. a concept for in 40 years. That's how mm. cars look in 40 years. And the rear doesn't, doesn't quite work. Doesn't quite work with the front either, does it? No, completely different. Really. No. Mm. So, no, I, I actually don't think this works for me. I would say this is pretty meh. Mm. It is. It's going to fall to poor. Yeah, yeah, actually with the stats also yeah. there. So, uh, yeah, let's mark it down to a three then. Okay. High octane love. Okay, well, this one is more leaning towards the uh, sports car side of things, not really a premium. Yeah, that's for sure the hyper yeah. car. A premium, um, but muscle premium. Yeah, muscle premium. Or something. even hyper. Yeah. yeah. All right, there's, there's some nice stats in here, but it's more prestige mm. focused. Not 
quite that bad for a concept car. It's more about building prestige for a little company. But yeah, okay, let's have a look at the design. I guess it's blue. Yeah, mm. it is blue. It is it blue. Is. It's not even a bad oh. one like it. It looks cool. Yes. It, it is different. Uh, That's what I would imagine, though, for 2025 yeah. as a concept. Yeah. 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 This looks proper good. The LED I, I don't, don't quite... I, I mean, it's a nice concept with the headlights, but they don't quite look right for me. It's I guess it's a matter of taste there, but... It is. Um, it's mm, probably, hmm. I think of like a 2000 kind of concept car from Cadillac. So not yeah, very right. futuristic. It looks like a concept. Yeah, it does. It's, it's bullseye on that, but... Probably not 2025. No. 10 years. 10 what do you 15 think? Years. What do you think about the rear? I mean, it's uh, consistent with the front, but not very much. It is consistent on the shape, but uh, is the, the chassis sticking, sticking out of it? Yes, it is the yeah, chassis but... sticking out. Uh, okay. Hmm. All right. The triple pipe is interesting, but okay. What do we think of all? Mm, I'll go in for solid. Hmm. I would for also go for five. it's. But it's a really good contender. Well, it's it has the features, it has stuff on it, mm. but it's not right there. Yeah. So what do you say? Hmm. Also five or? Let's make it a five then. Yeah. Same here. Okay. Next up is John Dam Madden. Okay. Well, the stats are decent. Uh, could have higher drivability, I would say, if, if it's a modern car like that. Mm -hmm. But overall, in decent mix, and well, the categories the like premium. it. Yep, yeah. scoring pretty well. Not not exceptional, but it's it's good. <laughs> and the design, well, it's the chrome, isn't it? It, <laughs> it sure is. looks shiny uh, future, but um, does oh, it work? Well. Mm, uh, it, it looks like a whale, a smiling whale from the front. The front is a bit. 60s, 50s almost. It's... Mm. it's uh, like diesel punk kind of and the and rear does, it, does the rear fit to the front it looks weird no, not really uh. it does look really weird um i i'm not convinced i i me neither i don't quite like this not design really. hmm. all right and the squished it's good for headlights the 50s. yeah uh i i wouldn't give it more than a four it has some creative yes. elements in there but yeah it's a four to me it's a four to me too, yes. Up next is close off. And what do we have here? Track car. Just barely a track car. It's 90 sportiness. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. Uh, that's not what I would call a yeah. premium. But uh, anyway, it is very track much premium. track and sport. Um, yeah. Okay. So design. Ooh, the color is, is a little... Mm. In your it, face. It hurts a bit, mm. but it's yeah. it's, I mean, it's a concept. Yes. It has some, and it has some interesting features. Yeah, the, the headlights are weird. Like the different, ooh, different the front size. Really, there. The front are weird, but it's. I mean, it's what what is very well crafted. Five concept. It's, what are these fits. black patches at the front? I don't get them. The, uh, uh, flappable cooling vents, maybe. <laughs> maybe. That's what I would think. It, they don't look as if they are supposed to be there. Um, so well, a shout out to the front lip because it crafted with a lot of pieces that uh, oh. lip the upper one on the front. It's oh, so oh, wow! Very okay. well crafted. Very well crafted that one. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, nice detailing. Um, but overall, like the rear is cool too. I quite like the rear much the rear more than is the front. Cool, I like it. Also has these cooling patches again. So yeah, it's which a I theme. don't really. It's an ongoing theme. Yeah, but they still don't fit in. I mean, they don't yeah, flow they don't with any That's lines. The they don't yeah. flow at all. That's true. Okay, but what do we think? I think mm -hmm. this is a a at least five, a, right. a solid, at least solid right. try. Five. Some some things that have gone awry. To me, it's a five. Yeah, yeah. five. I agree. Yeah. Next up is the Lada fan. Uh, again with the stats pretty low overall. Hmm. Mm. GT focused. Uh, premium yeah, isn't isn't in here. But uh, yeah, okay. So slightly below average, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. Good spread of stats overall, but 
Yep. Okay, design though. What do you say? Uh, it's kind of a throwback again. A throwback design. Yeah. Hmm, throwback the is what, good, though? But the color is good, yes. Yeah, it's nice and gray, but... No. Nope. Mm, like the rear. Newish. Yeah. It tries to be elegant by being simple in that way. Mm. But it doesn't work, mm. by the way. Uh, not quite. The front quite. Some, has something with it. The sides are just looking mundane, and the rear... Mm, not sure. I'm sure. It, it doesn't doesn't speak to me, at least. Yeah. What would you not to me as set well. it? It's, it's a poor design. It's a poor... Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, I would it say it's meh. Uh, I would give it a 4 overall. And you? A 3? Let's give it a 4. So, problem 3, me 3, you, uh, killer 4. So, I guess it's 3. Yes. Okay. If uh, Felix is getting a 3 overall instead of a 4. Overall, a 3. 3. Okay. Yeah. Mm. 3. And then we have Lucas. Uh, the stats are. Ooh. Uh, somewhat strange. At least very high drivability, so it's uh, placing well in the fun and family segments. It's commuter. It fits in the yeah. premium segment, yeah. but not of the really premium ones. No, exactly. It, it no, it's it's fine. It's fine. Um, but what about the design? Mm. Mm. Weird it's eyes. Special. Mm. Yes. Hmm. Very, very elongated things. Uh, okay. So front. Uh, I I do like the blinkers on the on the mirrors. Um, yeah, true. Uh, it's a nice touch. And the rear. Uh, what what is concept about the rear apart from the the upper central brake lights, which are, yeah. I, the I rear know. looks really like normal. Twenty tens. Yeah, exactly. Mm, I don't think this quite conveys a super modern look apart from the headlights. Mm, doesn't doesn't mm. really fit in the rear. Yeah, so now I'm I'm not con convinced. To me, it's a, a a four. Yeah. Yep. I agree. Four. And next up is Lucrina. Oh, a hypercar. A hypercar, but not scoring well in anything else. And oh no! Mm -hmm. Look at the engineering time. What the hell? It's from hell. Mm -hmm. it, it the is. Quality fifteen everywhere. Yep. Yeah, so considering that, it has abysmal stats. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you, you should be scoring like 200 in Hyper if you do something like that. Um, but, mm, yeah, okay. So that's that's definitely a minus point to that. So let's take a look at the design let's itself. Let's take how it... Mm, Whoa, oh, that's the most pleasant, pleasant car I've ever seen. Um, it's pleasant? Mm. It is quite pleasant. It also yeah. looks like Hello 2000s. And yeah, mid 90s also. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like the FTO from Mitsubishi. Mm. From the front, I get a vibe of a Dodge Viper. From the rear, the Ford GT90. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Yeah. That doesn't quite work. I like the triple exhaust on each side, but um, turbo on the side. Well, what do you think? Mm. This is a little I'm underwhelming to me. The... No, I gave it a three because the stats are very off. Yeah, the... yeah. I would say a mad design with a minus one to because of <laughs> insanity engineering times and mm -hmm. uh, pre poor stats for for what it is then. Um, so it becomes a free then, right? A free. Yeah. And the next one would be by MJ Decker. Uh, I think there's something wrong with this car. Uh, what is going on here? Uh, tires have... <laughs> <We're>... Sorry, <laughs> guys! The the tires on the show floor have just burst in your face. Um, so, well, that is, that is not really acceptable. Uh, whatever it is... Also, way too long engineering time and stuff. Uh, whatever it is, this is getting a mo minus one. So, what <laughs> yeah. is the design? Oh, wow. It's special. Look at the rear. Yeah, rear. I like the rear. Oh, the, ah, the, the engine. Rear lights. Okay, let's um, let's uh, bug in the game. Let's head over to the chassis tab, real quick, and select monocoque, and then you head to uh, the drive tire, uh, drive train tab, and reselect longitudinal rear wheel drive. 
and it is fixed. So now that the engine doesn't stick out anymore, let's investigate here. The the rear that the taillights look peculiar Wait. and that is oh, because they cool. are made out of mm. tiny bits and pieces. Nice detailing on this one, but what do we think overall? Yeah. Not that bad on the looks. Yeah. Also the front it it's has not a that lot of bad. details. Even even the front uh, headlights are made of tiny pieces. Hmm. Right. And it's a lot of effort there. Yeah. Uh, overall, I would actually say this is, considering all the effort and stuff, it does look futuristic. Um, yeah. Rear is yeah. awesome. I would say this is a 7 minus 1. Yeah. Mm, I was going for a 6 minus 1, but mm. it's okay. I would get, say it's very good minus 1. Yeah. Okay. 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 6. So, 6. Next up is Mort 13. Okay, um, somewhat mediocre stats, I would say. Super sporty, again. Yeah. Not not bad stats, but it's not really fitting in the premium category either. Mm -mm. Uh, extremely long engineering times, though. Ah, that's that's not good. That's probably a minus one for for those things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So missed the mark a little bit for what it's aiming at. It's a little uh, towards the sporty side and ultra long engineering time. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the design. Ooh, 90s called, they want their car back. Yes. Uh, but it's it does look 90s. like a concept car with the massive wheels and, and stuff. It th This is the most yeah. concept car looking thing so far. True, but it looks like a concept car from the 90s. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe, but maybe the, the the 90s are making a comeback, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Sure. Uh, it, I, I think it's looking pretty cool for a concept. Uh, I would go with a, um, actually with a 7 there. Um, so, 7 minus 1 in that case. I would mm. go for a 6. What? Minus 1. I would go for a 5. Because it's okay. okay, it's concept D car, but it's not the right era and it's not the right stats. Mm. Mm. Right, so, right. so do you I'm go with a five? One, or? One. Yeah, I would go for a five, yes. Yes, yeah. totally. Okay, and Pilix as well, so I would go with a six and that. Okay, so a five then. And next up is Mr. Slowly, Superator. Okay, so the stats are disappointing. What is that engineering time? Is it mm. actually um, 100 years? 110 years? No, 105 years, right? Yeah, kind it's of. One, yes. 105 it's years of engineering time. I don't think this concept will ever see the light of day. Um, mm. and, anyway, so we can. And it has shit stats on top of it. Right, this is mm. not. This Considering is not that engineering. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, minus one for that. It's not not really thought through um design hmm that's interesting it's, it's interesting mm, yes it looks like a lot of lot of duct tape though yeah yeah that's like true si silver tape but it tried it tried um, yes if you look at it from afar it does look pretty cool yeah i like the rear Let's have a look there. It has something to it, that's yeah, true. Yeah, again, if you don't look too closely, it does look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely a little concepty. Uh, I have to give it that. Um, so what do you think? Um, it's close to a, it's a, a six. At least a five. Yeah, probably for, for the looks and the creativity, a, a six. But, I mean, the stats right so uh mm -hmm. makes it a five okay okay yeah. yep and next up is mr chips huh luxury premium you say well this one looks uh, a, a little too premium uh overall but the stats are decent and we are not not having infinity engineering time it's more more appropriate to a kind of concept because they will be cutting a lot of corners still a little high mm -hmm. overall but um, yeah okay so it's okay ish um, yeah the design hmm it's cool 
I think it's cool looking. Yeah. Again, oh, nice wow. the rear, rear with a lot of is textures. A lot of detail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's a lot of work going in there. It has some cool thing going on. I yep. like it in some yep. way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is this is pretty good. I'm not so fast about the. Oh, I don't really like the hood scoop stuff. But um, what do you think overall? Hmm. I am between six and seven, but the stats well, a six. Yeah. That's six. Yeah, I would also tend towards between six and seven. So we settle for six. There, slight, slight miss because of the stats, but um, pretty good overall. Mm-hmm. And next up is Tom Hinks. And the stats. Uh, not a premium. Also very, very high costs. Um, very high costs. Extremely high costs. Not as much oh, as no, the there's, others, Oh, no, there's a little really dot high. there. There's, okay, it's just 50, 50k material cost. Uh, anyway, uh, so missing the mark a little bit with the category. And it's not too bad. And it's not scoring that well either. Um, but the engineering time is somewhat reasonable. All right. What about the looks, though? Ah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It uh, this, if you zoom into the detail in the front, then it's not looking quite as nice as from afar. I really like the look of it from afar. From the front. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. That's a 7 to me from the front. The rear... It looks too centered somehow compared to the too front. Centered. It could be a bit wider, but it's mm -hmm. fine. Oh, especially the diffuser stuff is cool. Yes. The, it the is, looks of the one diffuser. Is well mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I overall think uh, that is a seven. I would say so. It's a seven. Mm, maybe. Uh, I'll give it a six. six. Or seven. Yeah, six. It does. It is yeah. not really on the point on the stats. Yeah, the stats are dragging it down True. a bit. So I would say design is a seven, but it's dragged down a little bit. It's almost a seven, so and then the stats are like, rah. Okay. Making it mm -hmm. a six. All right, a six. Next up, uh, Viventar. And it has very poor stats. Why? Why is that? Oh, it costs a fortune, and yeah, it, costs it has really much. The, the wrong stats for the costs basically uh mm -hmm. okay well now that that's that's not too good that will be a, a little penalty for that um but what about the looks ha huh. that is interesting it's modern it is modern. clever use of that fixture yeah clever, clever. that is clever making a new mm -hmm. surface like this with the these are basically headlights which are just all paint yeah that's cool. Okay. Yeah. For me, it's yeah, smart, smart. It's so a plus from, one. This use is a plus one on it's the a, design. Yeah. It's a modern look. It's fresh. And it's from the rear, the it, concept car. it is consistent too. It uses the same style in the rear. Quite mm -hmm. like it. You could even say the flaws on the same line along the side. So I would yeah. say as a, as a concept, it's very good. And the stats are <clears throat> minus one. <laughs> yeah, I, I would yeah. go for a six, a solid six. A so total solid Overall six. six, yes, I agree. Next up, W3252. Oh, holy moly. Well, here we have a problem. And that would be, how many years of engineering time is that? That would be like 130 years, roughly. 130 years of engineering time. Take quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. too much, wow. too much time. And uh, yeah, the stats are troubles. the stats are absolute but, crap too. But let's take a look at the looks. What is prestigious, by the way? 145. What? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's very prestigious. Very prestigious. And uh, yeah, it will be used uh, on Mars once it's done. Yes. Um, mm. Okay, the looks though. I'm not convinced by them. It looks no. 90s concept more than 2025 uh, concept. Yeah. And the real? The only thing I... The, the long real looks yeah. pretty modern. Yeah, like, it's the only thing I like. like. Ah. I, I quite like the look, even though it's weird. It, it has something <laughs> to it, especially the rear, like. 
There, there's some some kind of branding missing on the rear. Just yeah, mm. yeah, just a logo or something. Really nicely displayed. Uh, okay, uh, I, I like the design. I would give it a six. No, oh, no. For I would me, give it a, a three, a five to me. Hmm. And that is without the penalty for the engineering or with? With. Three, oh, okay. With. So a total so, four for me. So it would be a five for me. So let's settle with a four then. Yeah. Okay. And then we have Schmies. And we have another one that has some problems, and those would be blown tires. <laughs> what is going on? Zero in everything. Uh, lots of engineering time. Um, let's have a look. It has some serious oh. fuel consumption. The yeah, the tires are. This is, this is not a. This is a, a very different concept car you can read it in the in the rear it's a 155 miles per gallon car okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay that's interesting um yeah okay if it worked it would be would be better um the concept itself technically would be a lot better oh and it just weighs 491 kilos <laughs> yeah, extensive <laughs> use of carbon fiber yep yeah okay as a uh, technical concept, it's interesting, especially if you... What what do you change for the wheels to make it work? Let's see. Uh, it's rim one diameter. click in tire diameter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rim diameter, um, 19, and it, it gets fixed. It has some stats, but still oh. sucks. Okay, but super fuel economy. Uh, anyway, what do we think? Yeah, the design well, is not quite there. This no, is a visual design co competition, not a concept car technical design competition. So I think mm. this one fails quite drastically, doesn't it? Yeah, the, it, but unfortunately, actually, from design wise, even at two, it's bad. Really yeah. bad. Really yeah. bad. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, wrong kind of concept car. So yes, let's settle with the two. Next up is Alex Rondo Twenty Five. Ah, uh, good stats overall, or decent at least. Uh, it's aiming a little high. Luxury mm -hmm. premium that yeah, is yes. overshooting, but it's in the right column, so to say, in the markets. Anyway, mm -hmm. design. Um. Mm. Well, it certainly looks like one of those bullshit concept cars, that's for sure. Yeah. It does. So that it, it's encapsulating that feel correctly, I have to say. Even but though it, I hate the look of them, but um, yeah, but yeah. it could be a 2015 concept, could be a 2005 concept. It doesn't really feel like mm. the I don't future. Know. I don't know. Yeah, I can see the future in this. Hmm. To me, it's still all right. Hmm. It's a solid design in the in the sense of it feels like a concept. Yeah. Uh, but but it, to me, it doesn't feel like it's a four. Future. So you guys mm -hmm. are four and I'm five, then it's a, a four. A five for me. Oh, really? Okay. So then it's a five yeah. of all. Alpino BR. A decent scorer. That drivability is pretty awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. it is a premium. It's a good premium, 100. Mm -hmm. The design? Let's see. Um, what? Mm, yeah, that's no. my, my first thought as well. Like, what? No. no. Way too busy. A lot, lot of effort. There are some, some good things here and there, but mix it all together is... Yeah, the uh, mix is what destroys it. Yeah. It's like when you when you throw the dessert into, um, into the, the big soup bowl and cook it with it because, yeah, that's and all the same. And then blend it. Yes, blend it. <clears throat> uh, no, doesn't work. Doesn't work. No, In the rear, no, I no. think we have some rotation issues, maybe? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's no, just no. some overlap issues. Depending on what side you look from, it switches. That's a bug in the game, though. So it's not something we can fault them for. Um, and if we look from the middle, it flickers. Yes, exactly. Uh, the rear works better than the front, but it doesn't look like the front whatsoever. So overall, I think yeah. this is a three. It's a three. Yeah, it's a three. Dead Puncher Toy 4. Oh, yes, this is working. Good stats. 
good blend of stats. Yes. Very nice score in Decent premium. Decent stats, yeah. Uh, 117 in the target demographic. Good engine in there mm -hmm. too. Nice. Um, so, design. Uh, that hmm. looks pretty good. Look, looks interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. I, I like it. And the, the, si the sides look very, very elegant. I, I yeah. really like the combination with the uh, door handles and being very close to the stripe there. Rear and brake light the on rear. top. The rear, the rear is fancy. just the rear is a production mm. car to me. Not I think the, too on the top of a on the top there is a huge glass. Oh door, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, huge window. Yeah. Yes, I see that. And rear brake light on top as well. It's it's nicely made. Yeah. I think overall this is still like the rear. Okay, is... I can see this is more closely to a. Uh, to a production car, I see what you mean there, but it yeah. still conveys the feel overall. It's elegant in that sense. Um, mm -hmm. I think this is a very good design. Yeah, I'm thinking about a 7, yes. yes. Also, yeah. Could be a 7. Next up, Elysium. Oh my, way overshooting the category Luxury Premium and GT Premium and yeah. then dead. Nothing. Ouch. Expensive. It's overshooting a very, lot. It's very, very expensive. expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't quite work. But concept cars may overshoot a little. So still, but still, this is way too much. Um, design. What? Uh, that was mm, overshooting no. as mu quite a bit as well. No. Um, no. What what is this? This is a uh, I can find only I an Italian word to define it. At it. Uh, I kind of like the concept of the triple head uh, and tail lights there. Just in principle. Yeah. I can kind of see that working in not on this car but like in yeah. general maybe at some point. But other than that uh, no. Doesn't yeah. work at all. No, no, no. Not as a concept, not as a production car. Hmm. At hmm. least not a 20, 20, so 20, 25 uh, concept. With, o with overshooting, uh. I don't see this one getting more than a two. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Two. Stretching. Two, so yeah. Master Doggo. Oh, okay. The, the stats aren't wonderful for this one. Although quite decent distribution of it, yeah, that's pretty solid. Although it's not scoring quite right in the segments, premium still on the top in the top four. It's oh, 72. Yeah, that's that's not optimal. It's not optimal. Let's have a look at the design. Oh, oh, okay. I have. I quite like it. I oh. like very much the back, the rear of the car. The rear. Okay. The rear is awesome. The tail lights. Yeah, it's that an elegant car. It's really, really elegant. elegant yes. Car. Interesting use of the. Oh, when you go really close, you see how it built this. Wow, that's so much work. Yes. So many so fixtures. What the hell? Crazy like a little zoomed out. This just nice. looks like completely custom, custom headlights. Uh, tail lights. Uh, the lower part of the rear works super well too. The lines and the oh, shapes. Yeah. Real nice. And not over the top text made there in the rear. Nicely aligned too. Uh, almost perfect. It's not quite, but almost. Almost perfect. The sides too. Pretty elegant. Yeah, V6. Yeah. I like, like very much the front. Yeah, front the lights front, are a bit. Uh, front lights are great. Small. I think they. Oh, yeah, a little like small. That's straight. true. It's, but it could be LED stripes. It's twenty. And like the, the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the okay, uh, LEDs down down in the in the vents are more like gun barrels than actual LEDs. <laughs> but that's uh, that, that's where the missiles come out. Yeah, exactly. That's oh, a James Bond car. I get it. We'll see it. Yeah. Okay, but this is looking really great. Um, so what do we do with this one? Hard to say. Uh, it's Especially a, with those stats. Uh, the design for me is a solid seven, but okay. the stats uh, I think downgraded a bit. Yeah, uh, so okay. a very very solid six, a high six, uh, but 
Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, Pelix, what do you seven. say? Seven design is design is very good. It's a seven, and the stats are not bad to me. Hmm. It's a seven for sure. Okay, uh, I think the design is even worth a high seven for me. So um, overall, this oh, the stats make it hard, man. This is That's, awesome. This is. Hmm. This is uh, mediocrity and no it's even below mediocrity um but it's still uh, oh, it's so close so close okay let's give it a seven i mean the design is worth it the design is definitely worth it a uh, bit of a stretch for me i Not stay on a six seven. but if you two are on a seven it's a seven all right a seven okay seven micon p7 uh pretty low stats here again we are looking at a scoring in premium of 82. That's a bit on the low side. Um, not overly massive no, engineering. No plus donor. points here. No, definitely mm -hmm. not. No. But also no negatives to me, at least. Yeah, it depends on how high it scores. But anyway, let's take a look. Uh, okay. Uh, what? Uh, well... What is it is. with the sides? Like, what's this Why spider does the sides web? have lights? This looks like a car that you can see in the old movie of Blade Runner. Yeah. This is a, ooh, the... a very good concept car, but for the 80s. Yeah. An 80s Imagine. imagination of twenty. It's, it's like someone designed this thing after watching the movie Tron or something. Um, yeah. Hmm. The upswing. Maybe he but... was watching Tron. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, to me, uh, I mean, there's there's some mm. some effort spent here, but it just doesn't work for me. The, the uh, front is five. interesting. I oh, like the sure arrangement of the headlights and taillights. They have something to it, but it's not enough. Uh, now, to me, yeah. to me, this is this is no more than a four. Actually, mm. I'm going that low. I'm going this with a four. Not appealing. Yes. Well. Okay then, it's a four. Max Miller, ninety-eight. Some decent scoring here, not bad whatsoever. I can hmm. live with that. Nothing special. Uh, let's take oh. a look at the design. Oh, instant, instant concept vibe here. True. Yes. But I can say an old. The rear and the front looks like they are mad. They look at you mm. and are mad. It is more like a 90s concept. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or, or mid 2000 concept. It is a concept, but yeah, mid 90s, late 90s. But overall, Before it's a the pretty, design of a... pretty good concept. I like the lines running around the car. Yeah. They are running around in yeah. a good way. True. And connecting to the to the headlights and the tail lights very nicely. It's one way around. Also, front and rear look like from the same car. Yeah. Um, oh, overall, I think this is a a seven, no. and no, to me, to me, it's a seven. And stats are okay. Uh, so I say seven. Yeah, I, I, I it's way off on it's, the era. Uh, I'm it's torn. Five. I'm torn. Mm. It's it has some good elements. Like it's consistent. It has the effort of the idea of the wrap around. But it's six. But it's a no. six. But stretching it. Okay, yeah. then it makes it a six. Next up, the killer noob. Oh, some very low scoring here. Uh, that is missing mm. the category. And overall low mm. stats. Uh, it's not quite working. Yeah. Uh, so what kind of car is it then? Okay. Well, that that's not a premium concept, is it? No. I don't know what kind of concept it should be. Uh, it's it doesn't look like a concept car exactly the rear maybe um, but not the definitely not the front um no no it just doesn't doesn't work whatsoever the wrong category bad stats um, yes i give it a two or a one yeah i think it misses it so much that it's a one to me yeah it's mm. a one a one title guy one uh okay. Okay, this is missing the category by quite a, a bit as mm -hmm. well. It is way towards the premium end. Um, it is. And 
it doesn't even score well at all. It's uh, yeah. what, what is it in in premium? It's you... it's a very average score in the all premium the upper categories. Premium is eleven. Yeah, premium eleven. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's and even in luxury it's below fifty. Luxury premium doesn't score, so it's missing the category. It's more a hyper slash supercar. More a concept. GT. And the design. Mm, it looks like a GT yeah. concept more than. It does look like a GT concept. Yeah, yeah it does. It, it does. It works as a concept. Yeah. Thanks. So. A lot of effort put in. The rear, oh my <laughs> god. It almost looks a bit like the. Um, I, I get the triplets up there of the lights, but it looks so much like there's something missing there. Do you see it has cut? Oh, it is missing. There is something missing. There are holes cut, but they are not there. Do you see that? It could be yeah, a tail light. I think the, um, there is a vent that disappeared. I think it's yeah, that okay. one. Um, could, okay. It could be like actually so what do some we say? dividers. What do we say? It is well crafted. It is. Uh, it's very well crafted. Misses the category, so that's a definite minus Sadly, one. Sadly, that's definitely a minus one. So I, I wouldn't. A I would one. say a a six minus one. Six. To me, it's a six solid. To me, also, it's a six solid because the design is almost a seven, but it's completely mm. off. Okay, no, so, that's fair. Six. Weasel. Ah, here we have someone who targeted the demographic well. So premium. Yes, yes it is 117. Premium. Decent, very decent stats. Nice yeah. comfort. Well done. And what do we say about the design? Oh. Oh. Uh, it looks more like a concept mm -hmm. from the 80s, the first impression I get. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I kind of like it. Uh, the, I don't know about the indicator on the side, the V-shaped indicator there. That's weird. Um, it could be a, a working concept, though. Like, I mean... The rear depends on the manufacturer, uh, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Too many oh, it's many exhaust. Oh, it's a V16. It's a I was wondering why he needs so many exhaust pipes. Okay, and they are not aligned. Yeah, but it's a three liter, so it's a small V16. <laughs> okay, then you definitely, you definitely don't need that much. Pipes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of an overkill. Uh, yeah, and they are not aligned. They're all over the place. Those exhausts. Yeah. Yeah. It's visibly. I visible. I do mm -hmm. like the design overall, though. I think yes. it is a six to me because it's really unique. I haven't seen anything like it in automation yet. So mm. I have to it's agree. I would give it a six too. I will give it a five. Barely a five. Barely a five. So the stats make it a solid no. five for you. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Solid okay. five with the stats. Okay. For me, it's still a six. Pillock six. So it's a six. A solid six. Yeah. Next up, Yek 38. Good stats, way overshooting. Uh, that is luxury no. premium GT way, premium. And way nothing else. Nothing else. It's way and too the engine is knocking. <laughs> the engine is knocking. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it is. Yes. Terrible. Not a little either. Uh, so that's bad. But uh, anyway, let's take a look at the design. Uh huh. Oh, look hmm. at that. That's, that's it does unique. look okay. really like concept. It yep. is concept. It's concept desk. Yeah, it is. It's not. Oh, it the rims surely concept. fit like this as well. You you can probably um, on a on a sunny day you can probably do a sausage sizzle in the cooking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some um, the rear, pretty cool. It's, it's weird but cool. It's weird looking. It has an overhang, but it's cool. It's okay, so I think this is a very good design that is held Indeed. back a bit by its overshooting, but it's not too terrible, actually. I would I give it a 7 without a do we, because do we, it... I, I, yeah. tend, I want to give it a 7 despite its... Exactly, uh, exactly, yeah. I agree with you, a 7, a solid 7 for this it one. Looks it looks proper it's... concept, proper yes. cool. Cool. Something you would hang on your wall. Yeah. And then we have Zab Hawken. Oh my! Okay, this is not a okay. premium car, but very different. It's an off-road premium it's car. It's an off-road <laughs> premium, so... And a utility premium, and somewhat of a family premium. And a family utility premium. Okay, so the premium is in a different way here. It's, that's kind of interesting. It is so... premium in some way. 
not great as premium because mm. it's an off-road premium and off-road premiums of course have different uh, difficulties with the other stats but let's see um, what it does in the visuals uh -huh. it definitely uh, is an off-roader okay. <laughs> it's a monster truck off -roader. This, a this monster this truck. Monster truck it does not give me the concept like the uh, this we had a... before that gave me a concept vibe Mm. This one doesn't. This is a concept, but since from the early 90s. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly, I have to agree. Yes, well, and it's I only the rear it. giving the concept. The front looks like a perfectly normal product car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. More than a concept. I like concept. the grill um, inset headlights there and stuff, but like the. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a little retro almost at the front. I go with the round it main yeah, lights. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, so overall, I think it's an interesting interpretation of the, the rules. It's an interesting interpretation, and, yes. But what else did we expect from Zab Hawken? A little bit of a background Indeed. info here. He is like the yeah. off-road uh, expert on our automation forums. Community. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you say? I think overall I this is a five. The, the yeah. idea is a five. Yeah, the idea it's itself a five. is a five. It's a solid idea. Execution is solid. The design of the car is okay. It's not concept, not, con off. not concept, but yeah, it feels. A five. The rear is a, is, is a concept. A five. 